So one of the things we've done is to try and get some idea of the character of the three authorities. What i um, done here is to compare um, the uh, occupational profiles um, of all of the eligible men in Middlesex. This one here, which is taken from the um, National Archives MH47 data for all appeals, not just COs, all appeals. It's a good sample, uh, nine, nine and a half thousand men who, uh, for one reason or another, uh, applied to tribunals not to go to war, uh, and then subsequently appeals were heard by the Middlesex, uh, Middlesex uh, Appeals Tribunal. And we can see that um, in, uh, in Middlesex generally is dominated by skilled workers. If we look at the Middlesex COs, uh, we see that um, we get a marked increase in the number of office workers who uh, are appealing. Uh, so that suggests that uh, the COs across the whole of Middlesex came mostly from office workers and skilled workers. Looking at our three uh, um, authorities, Hornsey overwhelmingly dominated by office workers, clerks uh, principally, um, who were appealing uh, or who were the COs and who were appealing. Uh, and to a lesser extent, um, we've got more of a balance in Tottenham, much more uh, akin to the, uh, to the overall picture in Middlesex. And in Woodgreen, we have uh, a higher number of unskilled workers who were claiming. It's not um, giving us any answers, but it's raising questions. It's raising questions as to uh, exactly uh, the pattern of those um, those COs, um, and uh, if we then begin to look at other aspects, and we're just beginning to look at other aspects, um, we can see that in Hornsey, uh, this is the only one we've done uh, completely, um, and this is what Jennifer's uh, drawn up, is we get this idea uh, of categorising the, um, the types of COs. So uh, religious and uh, religious uh, motivation uh, was the highest, moral and political um, roughly equal, uh, but much lower. And there were, of course, uh, 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 quite a high number um, where we actually haven't got uh, a clear indication of how they've uh, appealed. Just as a way of comparison, uh, if we look at the, uh, uh, the um, reports of the Pelham Committee, we can see that um, as far as they, uh, people, um, uh, men um, who were on work experience, and the reason they, had, they, they were granted uh, a conscientious objection, 67% uh, were religious, uh, most of those coming from the Christadelphians and the Plymouth Brethren. This is across the country. Um, uh, the moral and the political um, objections were very much smaller. So, a little bit tempting to say is this one reason why it was a hot spot because we're more, more the moral and um, political objection in uh, Hornsey and Tottenham and Wood Green something that needs to be uh, looked at oh yes and the other thing here the the ratio of COs to non-COs in the appeals to Middlesex and this is actually looking at uh, a bit broader than COs uh, we find that um, across Middlesex uh, it's got about 7.4% uh, of, uh, of COs compared to non-COs. In Hornsey, it's 16.2%, the appeals. 10% uh, and 12% in, in Wood, Tottenham and Wood Green. 